Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Tamur and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy, where we talk about things like AI, cloud security, and general cyber security career advice. Now, 2023 is just about to be over now, just I think two months left, and 2024 is going to be upon us. And one of the key questions a lot of people keep asking me is about the sort of career choice they want to go into when it comes to 2024. Should they go into AI or cyber security? Both of them like seem like very good career choices. Some of them are newcomers who just graduated. Some of them are like very, uh, what do you call qualified professionals with like five or 10 years experience, you know, they were in project management or programming and they feel that, you know, their job is not so secure anymore with AI coming in and more and more AI becoming, taking over some of those things, right? So the key question to ask is, and I've answered this before, I want to update this for 2024. Uh, what sort of career choice should you have? Should you go into AI? or cyber security now uh, like uh, i know people are worried because of the tech layoffs you know a lot of tech layoffs have happened uh more and more people have lost their jobs i think just we have linkedin so it's always good to be thinking about your career don't be like those people who just are fixed on one path okay if you feel that you're there's not much of a future for you you should always always keep your options open okay so it's a good thing to think about like this a lot of people who were there in those big tech companies they did not know that they were about to get laid off so you should always have a backup plan there right so when it comes to choosing between ai or cyber security okay both of them are excellent fields both of them are red hot going into 2024 right but which career path should you choose right now there are four things which you need to think about one is market demand one is what sort of skills are needed the entry barrier okay how easy or difficult it is to get into this field and the salaries okay so let's take a look at each of them one by one so first we'll take a look at uh, artificial intelligence right so when it comes to the market demand for ai ai is like red hot right now and for good reason right gartner has predicted that more than 80 percent of companies will be using generative ai gen ai in one form or another by 2026 that 80 percent it was i think five percent in 2023 it's going to be 80 percent so whether you like it or not uh, whether you, you're happy about the fact that AI is going to be taken over a lock of stuff, AI is here, it's going to change a lot of things, okay? So simply put, AI is the future of most businesses and the demand for AI, like trained professionals, okay, it's going to continue in the foreseeable future, right? You really can't do anything about this. And you can just look for any trending technology report, trending job report, and you will see that AI is usually at the top three, okay? So AI job shortages is not going to be a problem. The demand for AI professional is going to continue. So what sort of skills are needed? So a lot of people think that to get into AI, they just need to know like prompt engineering or like, you know, with chat GPT, that's no, that, no, that's completely incorrect. You need to know programming and data science skills. They are essential to have a good career in AI. If you don't like data, if you don't like data analysis, data manipulation, I would not recommend going into AI. Okay. You'll be dealing with analytical models, working with huge amount of data sets, right? So if interacting with data, you don't like then I would not recommend going into AI, right? You need to know at least a little bit of programming, you know, like languages like R or Python. Python, I would definitely know you should have a good example of uh, uh, knowledge of probability and statistics. Th those skills will help you find that job within AI. Now, what about the entry barrier? Like how easy or difficult it is to get into AI? So when it comes to proper AI engineer or AI jobs, the entry barrier is high if you do not have those skills, right? It's not easy to break into AI if you don't have any data analysis skills, if you don't have any like uh, Python skills or like, you know, so there are certain requirements there. If you're already a software developer, you will find it easier to break into AI because uh, like uh, you can build up the other skills, right? Because you at least have a foundational knowledge. There are numerous free programs already available from Google, from AWS to help you get started, right? I would recommend going with a proper degree program if you're starting out because that will give you, it'll force you to go with some, you know, uh, actual projects but there are numerous free resources available which you can take up, right? And uh, try to get some hands-on experience, okay? Because AI is not a theoretical field. You will be manipulating data, manipulating a lot of stuff, okay? And lastly, the salaries. Now, the salaries are, that that's one of the good, uh, like, uh, part of AI. They are typically some of the highest paying jobs, year in and year out. You can look at Ali's salary report, like, uh, AI jobs are typically the highest paying, and a lot of times, you can command a high salary and the, there's a lot of turnover within the AI field because people keep changing jobs, you know, because they keep getting good offers. So, so uh, from the salary scale, again, if you are a good, like a very good qualified person within AI, you won't have an issue. 
so this is another uh, like good aspect of ai okay so i hope this give you gave you a good idea of what you need to take a look at now the next up is uh, cyber security which is my field okay market demand uh, honestly uh, cyber security as long as the internet exists i don't think cyber security is ever going to go obsolete right but uh, uh, and because the job is to make sure that your data and your company's data doesn't end up end up in the hands of cyber criminals cyber security is not going to go obsolete i think the global security market size is it's like expected to reach around 366 billion by 2028 right so whether you're a small startup or a fortune 500 uh, cyber security is going to be in, like demand believe me but and like i want to caveat that that uh, cyber security like, as a field cyber security is recession proof but you are not recession proof right so a lot of times you will see outsourcing happening within cyber security or you know automation happening so please you need to keep upskilling a lot of times i've seen people become very like relaxed in cyber security and that leads them to getting laid off or being outsourced there's a lot of freelancing and consultancy work in cyber security so please i have made a lot of videos on how you can keep upskilling so make sure you have that right and so the second thing is skills needed now cyber security is a massive massive field and what skills you need are dependent on what sort of career path you're going to choose okay i've made a complete video on that like what sort of what's the cyber security career path what are they available i'm going to be updating that but i'll link it here you can take a look at that so the entry barrier and like ai the entry barrier is actually low it is much easier to break into cyber security due to the like many 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 career paths available whether you're a newbie or a professional if you're non technical technical like you you can be a help desk officer a marketing person cyber security is a massive field and it it can accommodate uh, like a massive amount of people right okay but do remember and this is very important when i talk about the entry barrier the cyber security market has become saturated quite a bit over the last decade while there are jobs the competition is also massive okay you will need to go to the extra mile to stand out compared to ai so focus on specializing your skill set and not just doing generic uh you know information security activities to stand out so i made a made a lot of videos about what you can do okay and lastly the salaries now salaries are variable within cyber security okay so uh, it can be low to very very high depending on what job you're doing obviously a simple cyber security analyst is not going to earn the same as a cso right but somebody in cloud security can command a much higher salary you have things like ai security coming out bug bounty hunters they can command like like they have those variable salaries So I always recommend focus on a particular niche, and then you should specialize. Okay, if you specialize, you will see your salary going up. Uh, so this is like how salaries work in cyber security. Generic cyber security professionals don't earn much because there is a lot of saturation at that level. You need to specialize. Okay, so I hope this is what I was talking about, guys, when it comes to AI or cyber security. So as far as career path go, I hope you have a better idea which career path to choose. Both both of them are excellent career options. uh both of them offer long term career growth and success so you should make a decision based on the factors i've shown and invest in your long term success so it's always good to be reevaluating yourself after every 12 months because the market changes things change okay so I, and i hope this was useful to you i'll make another video about the different types of career paths that are available within ai and within cyber security so keep tuned please do like and subscribe to this channel if you found this video useful and i'll see you next time thank you very much